Today, I'm in Shenzhen visiting the headquarters of Chinese artificial intelligence enabled healthcare startup iCarbonX. The company was funded in October 2015 and raised a massive $155 million venture fund in April, achieving $1 billion valuation faster than any other company in the whole world. I'm going to have a chat with the company CEO, Wang Jun, to find out his plans to fulfill the company's promises. Why did you leave DJI to start iCarbonX? Well, actually, that's, that decision was made last year, June. Why I left, uh, what well, not really left, I'm still the BGI board member um, and shareholder. So, um, but it was just uh, because of the, um, the the CEO position, I didn't really continue as um, as uh, the current business model that BGI is doing. So what BGI is doing is basically reading genes, right, sequencing. And uh, my um, goal, as I just explained to you, since my very you know uh, young age, was trying to understand life. And uh, understand life is more than just gene. So you, you, we need to do multiple information of the uh, uh, of your life. So from genes to proteins to metabolites to the uh, lots of you know physical phenotypes and everything there, every data around you. So in order to understand life, so I decided to really move on and uh, doing iCovax, trying to understand life itself instead of just uh, sequencing the DNA. That was the, uh, that was really and also it's the time um, if you look at the uh, the whole PGI started from the human genome project doing hundred million dollars per genome but now it's you know a couple of hundred dollars uh, uh, per genome basically it's um it's really you know um, the time for everybody to sequence themselves and started to to knowing their their, their life so. you're going to launch your first um, product soon can you share a little bit more details? On the 5th of January, so the, uh, the things we are announcing is different uh, data products helping you to digitalize yourself or basically helping you to know yourself more. And based on those knowledge, based on those data, that we will provide you some of those applications. The applications will cover uh, skincare, nutrition, healthcare, and medical care. So those are the, uh, the four main areas we are focusing on. So you will, yeah, we will launch basically um, uh, dozens, um, eventually will become whole hundreds and thousands of applications based on the data that we will generate for you. What is the key target audience for this new product? Um, it, it can be everyone, right? Well, it will be everyone actually. So it's different levels of data products uh, representing different resolution of um, knowing yourself. So that's actually for the, the lowest one is only cost you, you know, um, less than thirty dollars or fifty dollars. So it's very cheap in a way. So the US dollar? I think the first product we're trying to launch is about that uh, range, thirty to fifty US dollar per person, right? So everybody could afford it. Uh, in September iCarbonite acquired an Israeli um, a company called uh, Imago Vision. Um, can you uh, talk a little bit about that acquisition? Uh, what do you plan to do uh, integrating their technology? It's an AI company. So um, two co-founders was also uh, the, the kind of co-founders of a company called Computing, which is also a very good bioinformatics company. So those uh, founders know both artificial intelligence and biological data. So they are one of the best in the world for the uh, for those biological data analysis, simulation, and things like that. So I think they are pretty good technology, pretty good for the uh, for the AI core building. One of the big issue for any acquisition is integration, and how do you actually create synergy between the new company that you just bought, which you're spending lots of money, four hundred million. Well, is a big I figure. I did once, right, for the um, uh, complete genomics when BGI acquired complete genomics uh, several years ago. So you went very well. I think for any of those works, need uh, first of all a common shared vision and also trust. So I think we have both. So we have a really pretty good um, uh, shared common vision, and we know how to put and uh, logically, and from scientific logic and business logic, we know how to pull all those things together to make a big bigger pictures there. And we have for trust. All those founders I know for years. 
What's your international expansion plan aside from those acquisitions? Well, mentioned? after all this investment, we will, or we will already have a U.S. base, and uh, yeah, we will help also try to see if the Israel base could be used as our European base, of course. Yeah, we are, we are all thinking about that. In terms of uh, fundraising, the company has raised around 200 million in venture funding, big, big part coming from uh, Tencent. Uh, any further fundraising plans in the works? Not recently, but we are, yeah, we are preparing something in the future. So Tencent as a lead investor, what are some areas of potential cooperation specifically between iCarbonX and Tencent? Well, Tencent has uh, this WeChat as a 2C platform, right? so they have more than 800 million users there. So we have to use that in a, in a smart way. So soon I will be able to create a digitized me on, on my WeChat app? Well, at least uh, we were building up something right now, yes. Thank you so much, Wang for your time. Thank you.